What's up guys? Try to make this video as short as possible. Uh, we have here the Duramax Hybrid XP12000 EH and we also have the Predator 8750. Um, I see a lot of guys doing all these modifications on their regulators and uh, this is a two-stage but basically all it is is a reg uh, 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 it just breaks it down into a LPH which is it's low pressure and this is just a straight low pressure regulator no more than one pound that's all you guys need one pound low pressure regulator that's all you need also two um I've been seeing a lot of guys also buying these regulators uh, connecting them to their chassis of the actual generator and drilling all these holes and putting all these brackets and different things of that nature. Man, you do not need all of that different equipment to get these things to run off of the, uh, the modded uh, carburetors. You can buy this from either Topco or you can just type in uh, dual carburetor for the uh, Predator 8750. And if you can wait two to three weeks, it will come in. You can already see that the carburetor is there and the regulator. All of that came with this. It all even has the on off switch for your gas here. And you can regulate how much pressure going in with this dial right here. Now this particular generator here, the Duramax, it actually came with the regulator connected to it. So all I had to do is go buy some um, fittings for the quick disconnects, which you can see here. Quick disconnect on this one. That's an actual gas hose, which is designed for that particular pressure. See the connections. Also two, just in case you guys, this doesn't move. You see I'm twisting on it. You see how many straps on it. All of it works well, guys. So just to prove to you guys you don't need all of that, we're going to crank them up, let them run for about two seconds, turn them off, and let you guys see that this is all you need. You don't need all that other equipment and all these different things that you guys be adding to these generators, man, just to get them run. Running, rather, you know. So um, we're going to do the... Uh, Predator first. All you need to do is come over here, give your regulator a quick push. You heard the air, the gas rather, and you come fire it up. Let's see here. Now, sometimes I start a button acts a fool, but it's okay. There you go. You don't hear any waving up and down. I don't have to do any adjustments. Turning the valve now up and down. I see a lot of guys turning the valve up and down, trying to regulate the pressure. That is not the way you run a generator. All right? I'm gonna shut down the gas on this one. There you go. That proves it. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but you do not need to be trying to regulate the pressure with the valve like I see a lot of guys doing. And also, too, I see when guys turn on their gas, I hear gas leaking and making sloshing noises and different things of that nature. That is not correct how you do that. Now we're going to do the, uh, the Duramax Hybrid. Now on this particular one, Notice it doesn't have a valve, a button you push. That's because it's what you call self-regulating. This one has a valve. This one doesn't. So in this case, all you would need to do, pull over your choke as if it's choking it on gas. All right. That's letting or sucking the gas into the regulator and the carburetor. Once it starts, you just turn the choke off. Like you're doing anything else. Let's fire it up, guys. There you go. No problem whatsoever. All right. We're going to shut it down.
All right, guys. Now, you may be asking, why two generators? Why I have two separate buildings? This is one, my studio area, and I have my house. All right? All right. So, like I said before, guys, safety always first. Don't be trying to regulate your valve and trying to see how much pressure you need. That is not the proper way to run a generator. Also, two with your quick disconnects. I have, pop it out. Put your valve on top. Okay. Pop it out. Put your valve on top. There you go. We done. You guys have a good one. I'm out.